here we have a quick table that's going to break down the most important differences you need to understand uh, between data types and option sets when it comes to managing lists of choices. Again, remember, option sets are specifically for this, whereas data types can let you do this, but it's also the rest of your data structure. It's not just list of choices, it's everything else that you're saving to your database, okay? So let's take a look one by one through each of these pros and cons, the capabilities that uh, they have. The first one is the ability to create dynamic sets uh, and options within those sets. So the only way your users can create their own option sets and their choices is through the data types because you can set up workflows for them to enter in information and save them to a record in your database. Your users do not have the ability to create option sets or choices. They do not have the ability to edit those. That is a huge difference. So if you know that your list of choices should be customizable by your users, you need to work with the data sets. Option sets are not a capability for that. The next difference here is uh, custom attributes. Actually, both of them allow you to do that, as I mentioned before, right? With data types, you simply create more fields within the data within the uh, data type structure to record more property information for that individual entry. And then the option sets have custom attributes that you can add uh, as well, and they can accept uh, a variety of different format types. Okay. Relationships is also something that you can do with both data types and option sets, but there are key differences in how you should approach uh, designing relationships between these things. The next thing we're gonna look at is how data types and option sets are incorporated into your overall app architecture. So the first thing here is that data types are a part of your database structure, right? They create the tables. Option sets are not. Option sets are not a part of the database structure. You don't search through your option sets. You access them differently. Bubble actually bakes them into your editor in a different way. Uh, it's another, it's a separate uh, dynamic source that you can retrieve whenever you're designing your front end pages or creating workflows. Option sets are a part of your app structure. Uh, the data types, I mean, indirectly, they are a part of your app structure, right? They belong to your database, which is an element of your application. Um, but we want to do, we, we do want to see these differences here because they lead to different ways of using and protecting uh, the content around them. So this is going to be my next point here. Data types can be protected by privacy rules because privacy rules only apply to your database, right? You create privacy rules per data type. So you don't want to store sensitive information directly to the option set choices. And you really shouldn't run into that situation. If you are trying to save sensitive information like passwords and usernames and things like that to your option sets, you're not using option sets correctly. Those should be stored in your data types within fields so that you can protect them with the privacy rules. Option sets should be more generic. They should be more static list of choices that um, can apply to really anybody. It can be accessible by anyone. Of course, you can create conditions and things like that um, to offer specific sets and choices, but there should not be sensitive information saved to your option sets. Um, also, because the option sets are a part of the overall app architecture, you have to deploy the application in order to publish any changes to live. So if you add new choices or if you create new sets or modify the sets in any way, you have to deploy them in order for those to be published to the live version of your application. Data types do not require deployment um, when it comes to um, editing your records. Of course, if you introduce a new field uh, or if you change the names of things uh, in the structure of the data type, so the, the label of the data type or the field names or the format of the fields, those do need a, a deployment, but the entries themselves, so the values, right? This is more dynamic. Okay, remember um, data types allow you to create dynamic sets and options because your users can create those choices and create all of the values. So if those need to be edited, that does not require a deployment. A database change, a database entry change does not require deployment, which can come with a lot of benefits there. 